Never in my life, obviously, have I ever had Underwood Deviled Ham Spread. Underwood Deviled Ham. It's all good ham and a pinch of spices for good meat and good flavor. You guys, hi. <laughs> Welcome back to Sean's first time eating. Pop, pop. Pop pop today, something that I didn't know existed until, well, let's just give it up for him. Let's kick it off to him. Mr. Daniel Hunt. <laughs> Dan, I would say a good friend of mine on the internet. We have internet friends, right? You have an, If you don't have internet friends, you need to get rid of your real friends and have internet friends. I gotta get some fucking friends. This one's so wild that I, well I found, first of all I found it and someone judged me when I grabbed it. I wish I had the audio, but they were like, why are you grabbing that? <laughs> As weird as this is, it's a can, I think, with paper surrounding it, why? But you guys know me, I love food history. And if it has to do with like wartime eating and like economical downturn, you know I'm gonna print off the Wikipedia page. My mom makes great sandwiches, this one's deviled ham. Underwood deviled ham. My mom always gives me meat sandwiches to keep me going. The William Underwood Company founded in 1822. Known for its flagship product, Underwood Deviled Ham, a canned meat spread. Huh? Underwood's canned foods proved valuable to settlers during the manifest destiny period of 1840 to 1860. Then he was selling canned foods to Union troops in the Civil War. This deviling thing to food, very popular at this time. This is my favorite though. The devil logo is trademarked in 1870 and it's the oldest food trademark still in use in the United States. You could be on Jeopardy now. Congrats. Very curious to see what happens next. Look, our country's gone through enough. Can we not have the devil looking like that? I would like to see you try Underwood deviled ham, exclamation point. It's a potted meat. <laughs> I'm sorry, potted? Shouldn't be an adjective to describe me. Potted meat in a can that's usually by the spam. You were right, it was. <laughs> it was. Nasty looking, cool. But very tasty in a Sammy with mustard. All right, Dan, I'm gonna make one in a Sammy with mustard, and then the other one I'm gonna do with the most popular Underwood deviled ham recipe on their website. Just call me Shawnee Two Sandwiches. Well, I guess it's official. I feel like I need to like respect it and open it without tearing it. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I'm gonna wrap somebody's Christmas present in this. Like some pogs or something. <laughs> Dan said this alone would be worth the donation, so, okay. Cat food, right? Oh, na na, uh-uh. Why is there so much oil? <laughs> <laughs> it smells so weird, too. You know, I put these videos out for you guys every day, and this is how you repay me? This is what you think of me? I'm not just some jester that just, hey, dance for us. I made a fool of myself. <laughs> Oh, come on, man. What are we doing here? You just spread this on a sandwich? Dan, if I lose subscribers, I'm literally billing you. How is this food? I'm so glad one of the recipes, we're gonna mix it with delicious things. Gonna try to salvage at least, you know, Dan gave me the mustard option. I'm gonna use the greatest mustard in the game, Sir Kensington's. All the stuff online, like the old, dude, the old commercial for this one, though? Wow, well, four meat sandwiches for under a dollar. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Most of the sandwiches though, this used to be like, this would like feed a whole family. Like, they would make a big thing of this and it would we make like- We have four meat sandwiches for under a dollar. And they weren't ever toasted. It, most recipes, all the photos I've seen, you can obviously do it toasted. They would just use white bread and untoast it. Like, early America. Um, <laughs> hey Dan, fuck you, okay? And I say that with love. you, Dan. Fuck you. I'm using bleeps today because it's funnier. I just want everyone to know, this is not like a food that's like hard to find. Like every grocery store that I went to in the last few weeks had it. Uh, plenty of it, so if you wanna, you know, go ahead and murder your insides as well. You're more than welcome to. You literally just do deviled ham and mustard, you, you do this as an adult. <laughs> so
Sandwich number one, very sus. Now I'm keeping a bunch in the can <laughs> so I can make my concoction of the other stuff with like onions and pimentos and relish and all kinds of stuff. This is just like the poor man's quick one. <laughs> can I get a poor man's quick one? There's our Underwood mustard sandwich. Would you guys eat this? Hey Dan, real quick. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go in for it. Also, the elephant in the room, I, I bought this crew neck off of a girl at the bar. I just traded her my sweatshirt for it. I thought it looked cool. What do you guys think? Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, I don't like the grittiness. Think of like canned tuna fish, like the texture of that, and somehow break down the proton, electron, and neutron. I don't know, I haven't been in school in a while. Like in half, the particles are just somehow smaller. Oh, no, dude, it's doing a lot to me. I can't believe you eat these, dude. You're psychotic. It's not a bad taste, it's just like really salty. As you like anything from here, I mean it's just like a bunch of seasonings. Like deviling is just like a bunch of seasonings and mustardiness, really, and like the cheapest form of canned, you know, it's canned ham. What is the point of this? Like today. I understand it back in the day. <laughs> This company's holding on to being the oldest brand. They gotta let go, dude. Retire. Sometimes it's good. Go buy a condo in Florida. It needs like potato chips. Like, <laughs> like put ruffles on it for a crunch. It just needs more texture. It's too, lo it's too loose and soft. <laughs> okay, now that we've lost everyone, I'm gonna make their most popular sandwich spread. Cause if that was the video and that was it, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I, I don't know what I would do. You know, I need more. Ow! You're a moron. All right, we're gonna take the rest of our meow mix. Try not to puke. <laughs> Get rid of this spoon forever. Mustard. Relish, do like a little bit more. This seems kind of wild, but it's, it was in the recipe. Cream cheese. We're gonna use some jarred pimentos. Who's familiar with pimentos? Adrian Pimento. Brain leaked out his eyes like he was crying his own mind. My goodness. It always comes back to B99. And then the final thing, I dice some white onion. Sure going to an awful lot of trouble for this. I'm gonna mix this. How is this cooking? Man, this doesn't look half bad though. <laughs> All right, we've kind of obliterated this <laughs> with our forearms. So then you're gonna pop this bowl in the refrigerator to kind of chill it for a little bit. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna put it on some bread. <laughs> Why didn't I choose a different profession? Literally just a New York woman trying to live in a Chicago world. There's no room in here. Why is there a camera angle on the refrigerator? Someone, can someone answer that? I did laundry while I was waiting. Now there's lint all over. What the? Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. This is nice and chilled. The bowl is nice and cold. It really just kind of looks like deviled egg mixture, to be honest with you. We just know that that deadly ham is in there. And here we go. So I think what I'm gonna do, to make this one kind of a monster sandwich, like make it pretty big. Now I personally think that ruffles are a very like slept on chip, like especially for sandwiches. 
Like I brought it up one time to recent, like to people and they were like, you like ruffles more than that? And I'm like, yeah, I do. I think they go great on a sandwich as a crunch. They have a great saltiness. They hold their texture. Like you don't need to overdo it. Body of Christ. So fire, dude. Now we combine. And this is Underwood Deviled Ham's most popular recipe on their website. The most viewed, the most made. What do you think? Stupidly to cut this because of the chips, but I need a thumbnail. <laughs> YouTuber problems. <laughs> I think because I know the crunch is gonna be there from the chips, this doesn't look bad to me. Like it's gonna have some texture, but that just looks like an epic deviled egg sandwich with no eggs. All right, Dan, as unnecessary as this video is, I'm very glad you donated for me to do this. Hopefully I got a better reaction on this one than the first one. I like this a lot more. With the relish and the pimentos, and then that onion in there, there's almost entirely no ham taste. <laughs> like I personally really love an egg salad sandwich, and this is the vibe I'm getting. The ingredients are now nice and cold, it's refreshing. The bread kind of holds it all together, even though it's like the cheapest white bread you can buy. It'd be a good nickname for me, the cheapest white bread. <laughs> it's not bad. With that being said, I kind of just prefer an egg salad sandwich. Like, the deviled ham isn't doing enough for me. Like, when it was the star of the show with just the mustard, and if you really like that stuff, that's gonna be more your speed. If you're trying to disguise the flavor and the texture, this is more where you wanna be. I think some people will see this video, though, and, and like, crave an egg salad sandwich for tomorrow. It's a really weird dinner, though. <laughs> it's currently 5 p.m. on Tuesday night. I feel like people would pack these to go to the beach. You need a cooler, though. The second sandwich is so much better. Excited to chat about this stuff here today in the comments. If you guys have had it, if maybe your grandparents or grandparents' grandparents had it. If not, have you heard of it? Would you eat it? Check another one off the list. I'll see you guys for a brand new video on this channel tomorrow. Dude, you don't need a double hand to eat ruffles. <laughs> if there's something specific you wanna see me eat on this channel, the Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal, these are my handles. The money goes straight to me and only me. I make the videos, I interact with you guys. You know how it goes. I've been doing a video for every single donation of this year. We're on like day 82 or 83 of the year and we've got just as many videos on the channel. Impressive, humble. See you guys tomorrow. Hey Dan, one more time.